All right, guys, here it is. Uh, this is, uh, this is, uh, Frogger, uh, April 1997. Give me one moment. Okay, there we go. Here we go. This is, uh, this is the earliest, oh, that's me. Um, this is the earliest version of this game that we have, I think. Uh, this just dropped just now. So, um... Don't really know what to expect from this. Um, at all. Um... <laughs> I have my chat open, I have the Discord open. Um, the, the Highway Frogs Discord. Um... Give me a sec here. I'm just trying to make sure that this is all good. I, I I'm doing this on um I, I'm doing this on a different emulator. I'm doing this on Duck Station because I want it to be as um high quality as I possibly can get it. I don't know if this is looking good or not. Um, let's see. I'm gonna wait for some people to get here. And uh, I'm also probably going to drink a little bit of alcohol <laughs> for this. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna get on with it. We're we're all we're but, but I'm just gonna wait for some people to join before I uh, really get into this. In the meantime, you get to watch the spinning horrible. I'm gonna warn you, this is a horribly terrifying build. Um, it, it's very scary. Um, from what I've played thus far, it's, it's really, really unsettling and kind of weird. Um, and, and honest to God, I feel like this is like creepy pasta material. Um, because like, there's just so much, I mean, from the, from the few minutes that I played this, it's just so freaking creepy. Um, but anyway, I, I'm going to keep up with the chat as best as I can. Um, and, and, uh, see whatever you guys want me to do or say or try. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna do this. So anyway, uh, as far as I'm aware, uh, this was also ported to PC. Um, that we have a PC version of this as well as a PS1 build. Um, but I, I think it's the same game. Uh, there was also a, there was also a, um... There was, a, there was a third build included in the download link that I had. And I can't really tell uh, if if that's going to be a different version, a significantly different version than what we have here. Because uh, I can't boot it up. Uh, it just doesn't work. So, you know. Uh, I, I really just I, I really just want some people here before I can before I start because I don't I don't want to I don't want to dive in too deep into into this game before people actually join. So once I start seeing some people in chat, I'll I'll, I'll get on with it. Yeah. So picture picture this right. I'm a I'm a Tim Kloss. I think his name is lead programmer on Frogger and you guys are Hasbro and I'm pitching this to you right now that's the uh that's POV so yeah um yeah guys this is the uh demo we've been working on as you see a horrible untextured um scary frog rotating on your screen there's there's a game here. Don't worry. It's it's behind this horrible title screen of a rotating frog. <laughs> All right, we got some people here. All right, you guys are you guys are going to be the judge of this. You guys are going to be the Hasbro executives. All right, so uh, I will warn you uh, once more. This is a this is a very scary uh, build. 
And I, I think what I want to do to kind of loosen things up a little bit is play music because this is a very, very silent build. There's no sound. I don't think there's any sound at all. As far as I know, on the PC version, there was there was no there were no files containing sound effects whatsoever. Um, so I'm assuming the PlayStation version is is the same. Um, no sound. Okay. Should I just fill in the gap and play something instead? Would would that work? Um, I don't know. Frogger OST. We'll just uh we'll just have it play in the background. You may also hear my fiance. I think she might be coming into the room soon. So Alright. Here we go. Title page. Hi. What? My cellar Oh, it's in the drawer in the bathroom. Uh, behind the little containers of stuff. Okay. Wait, can you guys not hear that? It's probably quiet. Hold on. Let's boost that boy up. How about, uh, like, third 20 decibels? Is that better? Okay. So, um, here's our title screen, I guess. We have arcade one player, arcade two player, story one player, story two player, race, original, frogger, options, high scores, and credits. Let's be the credits. <laughs> There's no credits. Let's, uh, restart the game, I guess. credits high scores time to compete time to complete level number of hopes number of objects eaten also notice how fast it's like warbling back and forth most frogs killed level scores total game scores time to complete level okay some random stuff filled in there number of hopes I can't read any of that. That's like a foreign language to me. Number of objects eaten. Frogs killed. Level scores. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can guess what the rest is. Um, Options. Game configuration. Detail setting. High. There's other languages, apparently. Nope, there aren't. There are other languages in the um, PC version. I don't know if you can select them. Audio configuration, there is no sound. Control configuration. Keyboard. It's, it's trying really hard to access a keyboard, I think, and it doesn't work. So, we start it again. Okay. Um, what other options do we have here? I'm not going to try saving and loading. Let's just get on with the game. So, as far as I am aware, um, this game, they pitched this version of the game uh, to Hasbro, and Hasbro was like, this sucks. And then they were like, oh, okay, I'm gonna go poop now. And then they made the game again, and then they made it good. So, um, what, what you're gonna see here is kind of like an open world 3D-ish Frogger, where you can move in eight directions. It's the same game, it's, um, but a very different game. Let's just start with Arcade, I guess. And see where it takes us. So there's some familiar graphics here. We got our trucks and cars and whatever. Uh, 
this is the worst menu of all time. I see Ruined City in there, Jungle River, Caves, Original. I, I can't really tell which one I have selected at the moment. I just see Suburbia locked on screen, so... I'm going to just kind of uh, blindly pick one. Alright, this is the same level that I had on my... Uh, when I played on PC. Anyway, this is... This is how it works. So you, you, you rotate... I believe it only works with the D-pad, but for some reason, it's working with my analog stick. Um, and then, rather than moving with the D-pad, you, you face yourself in a certain direction, and then you hit a button to, to, to jump. Hello. I think it's still tile based. I think it is anyway. So what I'm doing is I'm just kind of moving it in various directions and pressing the X button and it's letting me jump forward. And then when you die you like spin around. True. Well, I mean, it doesn't really matter because there's not many controls. You just kind of move the stick and you jump. If you press square, you do like a big jump, which doesn't really matter because there's nothing. I mean, I, I don't know if there's anything high you can jump up to or not. I don't know what is going on here. I mean, there's, it's scary because a lot of the concepts are here. Like, I feel like I'm playing, like, a weird... ...foreign version of this game. The newspaper is there. You can ride on stuff. Kind of cool. The crushers are here. Sunken car. I'm dead. Game over. And it's... Oh, never mind. Title page. Arcade. I, I'm very confused by the existence of both arcade and story being separate things. It, it just feels so weird to me that this is a prototype version of the game, you know? It doesn't feel right. Alright, how am I supposed to know what level I'm picking? This is just kind of a blind shot in the dark. Oh, we have a sky zone level. Too bad I can't see where I am. Here it is, guys. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. I don't know what I did, but I did something. See, it's so weird because, like, This has all the elements that are in the game that we all know and love. And yet... Like, all the all these models are familiar. We've seen all of these models in the game that we finally got. But yet, at the same time, it feels so alien and weird. I'm gonna make a safe state here. It, 
it's just so so strange seeing such iconic things just be like in a different game like this that doesn't that, I don't know Fe fever dream is the best way to describe it in my opinion on but I mean I guess this is kind of the nature of most prototypes it's like the same game but different and not the same I appreciate how much they reused. I think that that's really impressive that they were able to continue using so much content, despite the fact that they had to remake the whole game. Wait a minute, can I? or something. Let's try a different level. Um, if you want to download this, it's in the, it's in the, um, it's in the, uh, the Highway Frogs Discord. I'm gonna make a safe state maybe here. We got a cave zone level. Oh, I'm dead. There's the snails. It's very interesting to me that the, um, I, I mean, they, they knew what they wanted to do before they made the version that we all know and love, you know? Like, this is just the same cave level that we all already knew of. Just, you know, different, again. Don't know where I'm going now. Oh, desert. Tornadoes, I guess. I mean, I feel like I'm playing like LSD Dream Emulator or something. See Caret here is what that says. Cactuses do kill you. Like, I feel like I'm playing, like, a student project. It's kind of cute, though. Can I, like... What is, uh...
I'm gonna see if I can crank up the, um... Yeah, this is kind of more similar to how the PC version runs. It runs at a, at a better frame rate. This is kind of equivalent. But uh, it's unstable and makes the game freeze. Oh, never mind. I don't know. go up the walls like that, I guess. Maybe I should turn the clock speed down for posterity's sake. I'm going to try to load Ruined City. I don't know if that's possible or not, but... If I could see what I'm clicking on, that would help a lot, but unfortunately I cannot. I guess this is suburbia. I like these horrible road splattered. This is exactly what I need right now. Is this one mine? Thank you. Apparently the swimming. This is so weird. Oh my lord. I like these trucks that are just like freaking out. Oh, I'm dead. Sorry people that have epilepsy. Have epilepsy. <laughs> Yeah, this level is kind of, uh... Oh, I'm dead. This is very, very bizarre. Yes. It's very good, thank you. There was only one hot cocoa packet, so I did half hot cocoa, half coffee syrup. Okay. I wouldn't have been able to tell. Whoa, okay, I am swimming. Guys, I'm swimming? Oh, boats. This is unheard of. Frogger can swim. level. Somebody get Jiraga 1 in here, please. story why not I don't really know what that means now all of a sudden there's a narrative and dialogue and NPCs
awful to control, by the way. Is that your computer squeaking? That is my computer squeaking. It's my graphics card. Oh, the game crashed when I went into the... No. My computer is fine. Thank you very much. The Frogger Scrolls. Elden Ribbit. I'm dead. That part of the level is kind of interesting, how it like shakes the camera when the boulders fall down. Yeah, no, I don't think I any- I find it incredibly funny. I don't think anything is animated. Maybe I'm wrong. These are very weird. It's also very funny to me when he dies and he just like spins. And I can tell that the code used to make him spin is just uh, rotate, pitch, yaw, and roll all at the same time. I don't think story is any different than arcade. It's the same thing. I'm here again. I, I, I must make it clear that I'm not choosing these levels. They're 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 choosing themselves for me. At least that's what it feels like. Some dev made these like rocks fall down in the camera shake and was like, man, I'm so proud of myself. I tried original Frogger mode on the PC version, and it dropped me into a level where I was underneath the floor, and I don't think it works, but maybe I'm wrong. Eat that, Hasbro. I made the camera shake. You know, what I you know what I should do is get the, um, hold on, I have an idea. Bear with me. I can get a PS1 emulator that lets you move the camera, and, um, maybe that'll help. Not really sure. I, I know. I already have it downloaded.
if I have my controller configured for this emulator. Hold up. So now I can just do this. I'm playing, uh, oop, 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 maybe, we're getting there. I don't know if this is at all helpful. So the, the issue that I'm facing right now is that the menu is really hard to use and we can't really tell what we're clicking on because it's just so broken. <laughs> I guess this is Ruined City? It's not going to be. This is, um... Does this have the mechanic where you can hide behind a stump and the bees will stop chasing you? I don't know. Let's um, reset the camera here. 
maybe this will help. Okay, I'm gonna make a safe state here. Actually, I'm gonna make a safe state here. So I can just kind of figure out what's going on. What is the default level it's selected? Sewer. I'm getting a lot of errors in the console of the simulator that's saying it's calling for an animation, but there is no animation. Which makes me wonder if these models are supposed to be animating, but they're not. So if the default level is supposed to be sewer, then original should be... No. Let's use this again. I'm so confused. I like how the section that was used in Bang Bang Barrel is here, and they just didn't change it at all. It's very funny that they just, they knew exactly what they wanted, and then they just never gave up on it. Alright, let's, um... Getting the same levels. All right, I have an idea. I'm going to go back to the other emulator because I don't really like this one. I feel like it's a lot more unstable. Um, that emulator was uh, Avocado, which is a emulator used for, I guess, ripping PS1 models. You can just rip everything that's currently on screen. And you can get, you, there's a free cam, which was my whole reasoning for wanting to use it, but it just made the whole game kind of feel a little more unstable. Alright. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a safe state here, and then I'm going to just note what levels load per when I scroll. So if I don't hit anything at all and press X, 
it loads sewer. If I press down once and then hit X, nothing. Down again, X, nothing. Down again, X, nothing. Down. Oop, got something. I think this might be desert. Nope, cave. One, two, three, four, five. X. Oh, there's nothing there. I'm sorry. I forgot to change it back to Duck Station. My bad. Sorry. There you go. Six. Load something. Desert. Six, seven loads sky. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Loads forest. Suburbia. Loads swamp again. And I have a feeling eleven is going to just loop back around. As far as I can tell, this PlayStation 1 version only has one, two, three, four, five, six levels in it. And we've seen them all. But I have a feeling that the PC version might have more. I don't know. Because this, I, I see maps for this caves, desert, forest, jungle, all the ones. There's jungle, there's a river, there's ruined city, there's volcano. And they all have, like, data. They're all, like, greater than not zero kilobytes. So, I have a feeling there's something there. Definitely data in ruinedcity.map. I might actually kill this version and try to get the PC version to show up. Bear with me. so scary because when I open up the PC version I see a giant rotating frogger untextured on my screen and it's horrifying and I have to alt tab out and then it goes windowed also the music is over let's play this I guess it's kind of similar it's close enough alright hold up I know you can't see anything right now. Window capture. What's that? Can you see this? So this is now the PC version, which um, weirdly it, it only works with an analog stick. The lighting is kind of weird.
This version's a little more clear, I think. Any cuties on the Fortnite item shop right now? Oh yeah, I forgot, when you die, slash, a lot of the time when you get a game over, uh, the game will just completely close. What is this? <laughs> wow. So I have to open up the game again, and then it goes full screen, and I get the j massive untextured frogger jump scare. Then I have to alt tab, then it goes windowed, and then it works. showing up so the fun thing about the PC version that I think is uh, you can actually replace the map files because they're just loading them loose in the folder so I guess what I could do is just do that rather than like I could just replace the sewer file with one of the other ones right would that just work maybe I could force it to load a different uh, graphic pack or whatever. All right, so I'm gonna take. So you guys can see me what I'm doing here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this. Um, I guess Swamp is Sewer. So I'm going to rename this to swamp.rod.wat original. My and then... so bad. Oh, what the hell? Should not <laughs> maybe... queue up? <laughs> yeah, maybe reboot your computer. Well, I'm going to I'm going to do I'm going to do both the wad and the map file. Swamp. And I'll do the map swamp.map original and do ruin city all right let's try it worth a shot if i don't get you know jump scared by horrible undetected why, why don't they use that model in the game why is he only on the title screen it's kind of funny Well, either way, um, ruinedcity.wad is in there, so it should load it, I would hope. The game just immediately crashed. Sad. All right, here, here's my idea. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a take knee snaps word for it. I'll just keep the original. Um, file in there, I guess. I don't know. Well, actually, hold on.
I find it very funny that this works on Windows 11. When did you say June 29th, 1997? Is the other one that I can't get working? The sound driver is not certified. This could cause unpredictable results from playing sounds. Do you still wish to initialize the sound system? Yeah. Appears that this is the same. Hold on, it, it's it's putting me in like a weird windowed version. Bear with me. Wait, did you guys see that? shit dude i'm gonna try loading the um glide dg voodoo on top of this and see if i could maybe get the game to show up better i think that pelly's island is probably in here i just i i don't think you understand how much my resolution is swapping around right now i just <laughs> I guess the game doesn't work if I don't initialize sounds, which is what I was trying to do because I assumed that the sounds wouldn't work. But apparently they need to be enabled to, for it to work. It's kind of weird. Let's see if we can get this working. Yes, initialize the sound system. And... Okay. Okay, all right, well, running it under the line, I guess, is the way to do it. You guys seeing this? I, I can't read the chat right now because my... What are these horrible noises? I, I, I can't control my computer, guys. This is... I know you're seeing the game, but I, I can't. Hmm. 
I guess it just doesn't work if I don't run it under Windows compatible Windows 95 compatibility and run it in 640 by 480. I guess. Uh, I guess I'll try to pull up the stream chat on my phone. need to like turn this down or something at volume mixer okay millennium api cameras all sorts of weird and for some reason i can't control the game the game for some reason I feel like this would be way easier to work with if I just had like a virtual machine going which I don't somebody give me like a preloaded like virtual machine that'd be great like like a download link to just like a pre-made like virtual hard disk that has like Windows 95 and graphics working. Because if I could do that, then I'd be like golden. Because right now I'm just trying to, f I'm trying to just fight this. I'll try to do DXWND. under DXWND. Okay, well, I guess we have no choice but to double-click it and pray. doing things and I am not trying to do things but that level and it didn't it crashed the game so that's cool it's so finicky and now it's not working at all <sighs> yeah this would be so much easier if I just had Windows 95 at my fingertips right now, but I don't, so, um, V, 
VMware. Is that what's the best virtual machine software for running Windows 95? Toolbox. I don't. This this is too big of a of an of a project for me to tackle right now. again it, 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 there doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason as to why it works and why it doesn't now it is guys so that's what those guys were supposed to be in the ps1 version oops didn't mean to jump in the water like that lose all your lives, you will crash your entire computer. And now I have to boot it up like eight more times before the game works again. is this oh my goodness
I promise you, I'm I'm trying my hardest to figure out where I'm going, but I don't. I barely have any control over this. I feel like there's supposed to be a level here, but it's not like loading or something. <laughs> The camera on all of these is impossible, by the way. Oh, game crashed. I'm really trying, you guys. It's still crashing. Literally, the, the best bet is to just keep booting it until it works. Yeah, honestly, maybe the best way to view these would be with Frog Lord. Uh, because I, I, trying to run this is not fun. Oh, crashed before I could even. It's very frustrating. something a little bit different. Uh, I'm going to look at, at I'm going to see if I can edit the BMS script to extract this and see what's in the what's what's in the in the data. It'll give us some sort of a look into what's going on here. I forgot that quick BMS needs to be a uh, run as admin now, which is really annoying. The script did not work. This is not useful information. Oh well, um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. I, 
I don't know if there's much else to say than what we've what we've explored thus far. From, from here, I feel like we could look at the files of each of them using Frog Lord once the those have been implemented. But other than that, I don't know if there's going to be that much more that I could show you. I can barely get the PC game running unless I had a Windows 95 virtual machine going, which I don't. Um, because clearly it's requiring something that I don't have. Or I'm just stupid. I don't really know why. Like, it, it, it doesn't work half the time. Well, obviously Frog Lord doesn't support it yet, but once it does, it, it's probably better to... Oops. I'm going to remove this here. Um, let's go back to here. Um, it'll probably be better to just look at that PC version with Frog Lord, and then as for the earlier prototypes, I mean they're they're something, but uh. I, there's a lot of data in there that also I feel like needs to be data mined out rather than actually explored within the game because that is equally kind of obnoxious to have to deal with in a different way because the menu doesn't really work and only a few of the levels are truly selectable. So in terms of what I can show you tonight, I don't know if there's going to be much else beyond what you've seen. Um, thank you for tuning in. I'm probably going to cut this now been an interesting little night and uh it'll be very interesting to see where this goes from here because there's going to be a lot more to uncover and explore and uh catch it here first guys no i don't know maybe i don't know we'll see anyway see you all later peace out